Hello guys, welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. I'm really glad that you've joined me today in the month of September. I know I've been a bit quiet, but I'm sure you understand the world can get really busy sometimes. But I haven't forgotten about you, my dear audience. Today we're going to be looking at the data analysis and our reporting using the M&E software called KPI Lens. Now, I know you've been asking, why does he keep talking about this KPI Lens software? I just think it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful software. I really want you to use it. I really want you to get in touch with the developers so that you can be able to get the maximum benefit out of your, your projects. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I've been in this field for a very long time. I've enjoyed every bit of it, okay? 10 years to be precise, but it's more than that. And soon, every time I'll be talking about this, I may be mentioned 11 or 12 years. I've been in this business for a long time. So I'm Coach Alexander. Welcome to this channel. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel. There are these free ebooks, okay? I know some people have been complaining that they've been having challenges downloading them but, but i want to tell you this that sometimes the email actually most times the email comes but you just have to check in your spam folder the, the link comes you can download these books they are totally free if for some reason you fail get in touch with me and there is this udemy course how to set up a monitoring and evaluation system step by step please enroll in this course. It's hosted on Udemy. And as usual, because this video is so long, please take advantage of the timestamps because the timestamps are going to give you the opportunity to navigate yourself around to the point of this video, which matters the most, okay? So please make good use of the timestamps. Okay, so now I want us to talk about data analysis before we go to the KPI. KPI Lens software itself. Now, the data analysis is um, a process we, we all do in life, okay? And the reason why I say so is because if you've noticed, sometimes, especially, okay, especially in school, when you're trying to do a research, maybe for your thesis, you collect some data from the field, and then in order to bring out the information, in order to better understand what does this data really mean, how does it help me derive conclusions, you perform some techniques that will help you better understand what you've collected. So th that is basically data analysis. So when it comes to M&E, we always undertake data analysis, and it's very important we do so in an efficient and effective manner. There are so many analysis softwares out there. We've got SPSS, we've got Stata, and even Excel can help you do this analysis. Now, I showed you this uh, questionnaire, uh, I, I mean the data collection tool. That is really the starting point. And if you remember in the previous video, I also explained that you need to have this tool it developed on the KPI Lens dashboard so that you can share it with friends and then the friends can actually uh, input their, you know, their data for you so that you can make the analysis better. So KPI Lens can actually help you do the analysis, all right? So let's go straight into the KPI Lens dashboard. I want to show you what I've done and how it has helped me personally. Okay, let's go in. Hello guys, welcome to KPI Lens. If you are new to this website, this is how it looks. You just go to Google, type KPI Lens, and you click the link yeah, on their website. So simple, really. So you can you have the liberty to uh, to request for a demo. They do give uh, demos if you want to request, if you may wish to request. And since I already have an account with them, I'll simply sign in from there. All right. Now, in case you have any problems trying to sign in, just let them know. They they've really got a good uh, support uh, system that can be able to 
help you uh, do what it is you need to do. So this is the email I use, okay, for this particular KPI lens. And for those scammers out there, let me tell you this: that this is not the you, this is not the email to the YouTube channel. So you probably will never even be able to hack my channel. So this is my just my email for this uh, software. So now let me do the let me type in the password. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, no, you know what happened? I, I did not type it properly. I missed an H there. Okay, so the system is very alert. So it identified that I actually, I, I didn't type it properly. So this is, let me now log in. It's going to work now. Okay, I've signed in. Let's see what happens. Good. So this is the KPI Lens dashboard. All right, as you can see, it's a, a very basic dashboard. I like very simple things. That is why it is M and D made simple. I like simplicity. And this is one of the things I think they are doing fine so far. So you click uh, on the, okay, maybe let me orient you a bit. So you've got the workspace manager. So workspaces are basically, how do I put it? They are, um, it's the part, they are more like categories or sections where you put all your information or all your data in, okay? So they are, they call them workspaces. So now, in my case, I was just experimenting. I, I can create a new workspace. Let's say I create something new. I call it food security project. And in that food security project workspace, or category, that is where I'll put all my projects or all information to do with food security. Okay, so now in this particular case, because I was just uh, playing around and getting familiar with the, the KPI Lens software, I had my own M and D made simple um, category or workspace. So you, you simply just click there. So anything to do, let's say it was food security. Let me go back. I just want you to get this, this one clear. Let's say you're dealing with food security. You click there. So any projects to do with food security, you list them here by creating a new project. Okay. So now for me, I, I, I just, since I was playing around, I called it M and D made simple. So under M and D made simple, you simply just open there. And like I showed you last time, I already actually did develop uh, quite a number of things under uh, under these frameworks because where, where we've come to now gives you the opportunity to create an m and framework. So now, for example, there is, uh, I created, uh, if you recall, I created something to do with uh, poverty reduction projects 2021 to 2023. So this you see here is actually the M and D framework that I created. It's it's pretty basic, but you can populate a lot of data into this uh, section. So now the area of interest is for you to collect. As you can see, these are indicators: number of meals eaten per day, percentage of people living on less than poverty, and things like that. So as you can see. You can actually create data collection forms, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the the forms, if you've if you've noticed here, if you want to create a new form, you simply just click here. I showed you how to do it in the previous video, and it's it's amazing because uh, as you can see i i created all these forms I, the first one i did was simply just trying to test this second one um i i tried also to just explore if it's meeting my standard but the one which is uh, actually which i actually use to collect the data is this form so if you want to see the form you've created you simply just uh, you can actually press the preview button 
So what happens is that this form, it's, it's digital. So you can actually send out this form to people using, you can actually copy this link, okay? But there's a better way to do it. Uh, so you, as you can see, so here there are different questions. How much is your monthly income? The responder can click there or click down there, whichever they deem fit to click. And then once they finish clicking all these questions, they press the, the button submit. Okay, now let's uh, go back. Now, the area of interest is uh, how many people actually responded to this questionnaire. Okay, so I, I want to tell you that after I had done this, uh, prepared this form, I shared out the questionnaire to people via online platform. And uh, these are the responses, okay? So this is how you check for the responses. So as you can see, different people responded. This is where you actually get the responses. So as you can see, these are the responses. So based on the data you have here, you are able to do a well-informed analysis. And based on your analysis, you are able to give some feedback of how many people have been um, were eating three meals a day, four meals a day, or if you are asking the question, meals per day. So now the possibility to export this data is actually there. Okay. So in the coming videos, I'm going to show you how you can actually export this data and how you can actually do a real-time analysis using KPI Lens. So without wasting any more time, I have really enjoyed today's interaction. Please write to me in case of any questions. I've been your host, Coach Alexander, and see you on the other side. Bye.